Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more in control of your body, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That's why we're here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds. Recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system. It's a regenerating system. It is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we welcome your phone calls. On the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, longevity business, if you have a comment or a success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side, every day on the bright side, 844-236-6010. We do have lines open. If you've tried to get on board in the past and gotten a busy signal, now's the time to give us a call, 844-236-6010. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. You can also call the Brightside Ben team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business, earn thank you checks, and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. Of course, you can also order Longevity products by calling 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. And I also want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Serum, Truth Balm, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with generous amounts of vitamin C, Truth Retinol 5% Gel, has 5% retinol as well as vitamin C, never any preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, oil, silicon, propylene glycol, water in any of our truth treatment products. If you're dealing with acne blemishes or hyperpigmentation or age spots or, or uh, wrinkles or you want to prevent wrinkle formation or you're just looking for general skin health products, truthtreatments.com is where you want to go, truthtreatments.com. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side, friends. We're talking about estrogen, the female hormone, so-called female hormone, which in reality is much more than a female hormone. It's a growth hormone. Estrogen is a stress hormone. Estrogen is also a female hormone. It's responsible for the development of secondary female characteristics. Women, of course, make more, men, more estrogen than men do. Nonetheless, estrogen is not merely a female sex hormone. We've said that estrogen is actually a family of hormones. It's a family of substances, which includes metabolites or breakdown products of estrogens, which are called catechol estrogens. Catechol estrogens, breakdown products, metabolites of estrogen are related to autoimmune disease. This is why so many more women are affected by autoimmune problems than men. Estrogen, catechol estrogens, estrogen breakdown products are associated with cancers. They're associated with fibroids. They're associated with infertility, among other health challenges. Thus, the importance of balancing estrogen. Thus, the importance of detoxification of estrogen. Estrogen is detoxified through the gut, through the intestine and the liver. It requires healthy bile. You got to have a gallbladder. If you're compromised in any way, in any of these areas, if you have uh, digestive health problems, Crohn's disease, ulcerative colitis, gallbladder removed, liver problems, if you're dealing with fatty liver disease, if you're on prescription drugs that are taxing the liver, 
if you're eating a lot of sugar, all of these can compromise estrogen metabolism. All of these can compromise estrogen breakdown. This will make you more likely to be dealing with breast cancer, uterine cancer, fibroids, endometriosis, endometriosis premenstrual, uh, uh, premenstrual syndrome, PMS. All of these are not only issues of estrogen. They're also issues of defects or defective breakdown of estrogen. That's so important. We're always focusing on the hormone, but we're not focusing on the rest of the body. That's what the triangle of disease is about. And as we're going to talk about here in a little bit, there's a big relationship between insulin and estrogen, between blood sugar and estrogenic problems, between elevated blood sugar or insulin resistance and estrogen deficiencies, between diabetes or prediabetes and insulin resistance syndrome and menopausal symptoms. It's always go, it always goes back to the triangle of disease, always, always, always the digestive system, the blood sugar system, and the adrenal system. Focus on the triangle, everything else will fall into place. The natural balancing, estrogen balancing substance is progesterone. And this is why anyone on hormone replacement therapy should be using progesterone. Either cream, I like the cream the best because you get a slow sustained release. The skin handles progesterone cream very well. It gets into the blood very effectively through the skin. You do need a high percentage of progesterone cream. If you want to experiment or you uh, take advantage of the estrogen balancing powers of progesterone cream, get a 10% progesterone cream. You're going to have to ask the compounding pharmacist to make it for you. They don't sell 10% progesterone creams. I found that when you use a progesterone, I used to make a, a real nice 10% progesterone cream, and I found that you don't have to use as much. You can use it less frequently. You get a nice healthy dose of progesterone. Progesterone is really cheap, too, by the way. You don't have to be ripped off by a progesterone cream. You should be able to get four ounces of a 10% progesterone cream for under $50. If you go on the Internet, you're going to get a 2% progesterone cream for $50. So progesterone is the natural way to balance out estrogen. And anybody, by the way, who's exposed to xenoestrogens through plastics or water or birth control pills or or uh, foods, animal foods can be high in, in estrogen-like substances, dairy, fish even. We're going to talk about that here in a little bit. If you feel like you're being exposed to xenoestrogens, get on some progesterone cream. You know what? Everybody benefits from a little progesterone. It's non-toxic, it's relaxing, and it helps balance out xenoestrogens and excess estrogens and estrogen metabolites. On our last program, we talked about a really important vitamin that can help block estrogen or antagonize the effects of estrogen, tocopherol or tocotrienol, known colloquially as a vitamin E. Like estrogen, it's a family. There's no one thing called vitamin E. There's actually eight different forms of vitamin E, which are part of two classes of vitamin E, tocopherols and tocotrienols. You're going to hear lots more about tocotrienols in the coming years. It's, it's already starting to get out there. I first heard about tocotrienols maybe eight or nine years ago. And now you're starting to see tocotrienol products. You're starting to get internet ads and email blasts about tocotrienols. Tocotrienols are more powerful antioxidants than tocopherols. They're all important, though. And in nature, they're all found together. Vitamin E can be thought of as the anti-estrogen. Vitamin E is the anti-estrogen. Estrogen clots the blood, vitamin E thins the blood. Estrogen enhances the stress response, vitamin E calms the stress response. Estrogen is anti-fertility, vitamin E is the fertility vitamin. Tocopherol means to bear children. For pregnant women, vitamin E can mitigate many of the unpleasant estrogenic effects associated with pregnancy, including circulatory issues and Blood sugar issues. Vitamin E is anti-diabetes. That's anti-diabetes for everybody. But it's especially anti-gestational diabetes. In my opinion, supplementing with vitamin E is a very good idea for women who are building a baby, women who are trying to make a baby, and for everybody. Vitamin E is the master antioxidant. It works well with other antioxidants, particularly with vitamin C and E. A lot of formulations will contain those three together. A lot of skincare formulations will contain those three together, vitamin E, vitamin C, and selenium. And this, by the way, makes it very valuable, vitamin E, that is for, uh, as a preventative for cancer as well as for heart disease. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number you're listening to. The Bright Side will return right after this. Okay, we are 
back on the bright side. I'm pharmacist Ben. Thanks for joining us. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24 7 on our archive pages, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com. I'm sorry, brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. We have search engines up on both pages. You can purchase products off brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and also criticalhealthnews.com. We got blog posts and news stories up on criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, and pharmacistben.com. 844-236-6010 is our number, and we do have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. If you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. We're talking vitamin E, we're talking estrogen blockade or estrogen antagonism, a very important health strategy for folks who are concerned about estrogen dominance. If you're dealing with breast cancer, or you're concerned about breast cancer, or fibroids, fibrocystic breasts, PMS. For men who are dealing with prostate cancer, blocking or antagonizing the effects of estrogen and promoting the metabolism and the clearance of estrogen is a major, major health strategy. Vitamin E is a wonderful anti-estrogenic vitamin. In addition to being the master antioxidant, vitamin C and vitamin E work together along with selenium. Vitamin E is a preventative for heart disease. Vitamin E can help folks who are dealing with vascular problems that are associated with dementia. Vitamin E is, is anti-cancer. Vitamin E plays a role in protecting the body from the toxic effects of cholesterol. This is very, very interesting. Cholesterol is a super important substance, and I'm not a big believer in, in uh, statin drugs or in, in preventing the body from making cholesterol, but there's something called oxycholesterol, which is a burnt version or an oxidized version of cholesterol. And unlike cholesterol, oxycholesterol can indeed be a health problem. Oxycholesterol is associated with heart health challenges. Oxycholesterol is associated with increased deposition of cholesterol into arteries and plaques. Oxycholesterol can, can uh, uh, cause a, a reduction in the elasticity of arteries. It can reduce the flexibility of arteries. It can impair arteries' abilities to expand and carry more blood. This can lead to other cardiovascular problems. This can lead to heart attacks, strokes. It can impede the flow of nutrients to cells and tissues and organs. It can impede the flow of oxygen. It can, it can prevent blood from detoxifying cells. So oxycholesterol is indeed a health issue, not cholesterol, oxycholesterol, damaged cholesterol, oxidized cholesterol. Vitamin E plays an important role in preventing the formation of oxidized cholesterol. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. If you're eating a lot of fried foods, processed foods, particularly fast foods, you're going to be getting a lot of oxycholesterol. If you're eating eggs cooked at high temperature, that can also contribute to oxycholesterol low. Just another reason for everybody to be supplementing with 400 international units of vitamin E. Mixed tocopherols and mixed tocotrienols. Now, you can get vitamin E from foods, but it's just really hard to do. The best foods are going to be grains and seeds, but you've got to eat a lot of grains and seeds. Oils. Uh, vegetable oils will have some vitamin E in it as long as they're fresh and they're, they're unrefined. But then we know about the problems associated with vegetable oil. So really, you got to supplement with the stuff. And given that vitamin E is so darn cheap, it really there's really no good reason not to supplement with 400 international units a day of vitamin E, especially if you have a history of heart disease, especially if you have a history of female reproductive health challenges, especially if you're concerned about estrogen blockade. Love, love, love vitamin E. I remember in pharmacy school, they used to tell us that vitamin E was not an important vitamin. In fact, up until about the 1970s or so, they, did, they told you you didn't even need to supplement with vitamin E. I don't even think vitamin E was considered an essential nutrient for a long time. There's other nutrients that you can use that are helpful for balancing out estrogen. Selenium, which works with vitamin E, is an anti-estrogenic substance. Vitamin E is, I'm sorry, selenium is also anti uh, helps the body helps protect the body from sugar. It's a it's pro insulin. It supports the activity of insulin. If you're on insulin and you use selenium, you may be able to lower your dose of insulin. And if you are on insulin, you should be very aware that insulin is a pro aging substance. 
Insulin will age you. If you are a diabetic and you are told, oh, you're going to have to be on insulin the rest of your life, you are going to be accelerating the aging process. Selenium, will, using selenium as a supplement, will allow you to lower your dose of insulin. Using selenium as a supplement will help support sugar metabolism and not coincidentally, using selenium can help protect you against estrogen. Remember, there's a very important relationship between insulin resistance and estrogen deficiency. And I would suspect that a lot of women who are dealing with, with estrogen deficiency issues as they approach menopause may also, not coincidentally, be dealing with insulin resistance. Use selenium. Selenium is also an aromatase inhibitor. Last week we talked about drugs for aromatase inhibition. Using selenium may help you lower your dose of other toxic aromatase inhibitors, aromatase inhibitor drugs that they give you if you're dealing with breast cancer. It's true about any estrogenic issue, really, if you're dealing with endometriosis, fibroids, PMS, infertility issues, prostate disease in men. All of these have a component, have an have a estrogen component. Selenium can help. That's why you'll see selenium, by the way, on a lot of prostate formulations. Prostate health formulations usually feature selenium. And one of the most important reasons is because selenium has an estrogen blocking ability, an estrogen antagonizing property. Selenium, as I say, also potentizes the effect of insulin, and that can also be important for men dealing with prostate health issues. The best thing you can do if you want to prevent prostate disease is lower your blood sugar, protect fats, and stabilize your body or protect your body from excess estrogen. Later on, we're going to talk about estrogen and insulin. It's a really, really important subject. And as it turns out, in my opinion, this is one of the major reasons for, and underappreciated reason for the decline in estrogen that occurs as we get older. Once again, this points to the triangle of disease when it comes to addressing health issues. Another important class for dealing with a class of substances, class of uh, nutrients for dealing with estrogen toxicity, either from the accumulation of catechol estrogens or from xenoestrogens, if you're eating a lot of meat or dairy or fish, Another very, very important class of nutrients, phytonutrients, plant nutrients, are called polyphenols. Now, you're going to hear lots more about these polyphenol substances. You're already starting to hear about polyphenols. Polyphenols are a class of plant chemicals that have some similarity to estrogen, and this allows them to block some of the more toxic effects of estrogen. One of these polyphenols is called lignins, L-I-G-N-I-N-S. Lignans are found in flax seeds, and flax seeds are really, really amazing. Flax seeds, in my opinion, anyone dealing with estrogenic health issues should be grinding up flax seeds every day and drinking them down in water or using, making a pudding with uh, unsweetened almond milk or blending unsweetened almond milk and water and a couple tablespoons of flax seeds. We've talked about how flaxseed fiber can help flush out estrogen, magnetically attract estrogen, how flaxseed fiber supports the health of the microbiome, which is important for detoxifying estrogen, how flaxseed fiber supports bile, which is important for detoxifying estrogen. But now here's another good reason to use flaxseeds for estrogen. Flaxseeds are high in polyphenols, specifically a polyphenol called lignins, L-I-G-N-I-N-S. Mrs. Ben, you're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We do have lines open, and we'll get your phone calls here in our next segment. 844-236-6010 is our number. 844-236-6010. We'll take a break and come back with more good Hi, this is- Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. Thank you for joining us, friends. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. I am pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs. If you have questions about health, nutrition, you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, if you have questions about anything we've been speaking about here, about estrogen or progesterone or vitamin E or estrogen blocking, 844-236-6010 is our number. And we do have lines open. We'll get your calls here momentarily, so hang on tight. Just want to talk about a couple of stories. This one is from North Carolina State University. Love this article. This was published in the journal Science and Education. Critical thinking instruction in humanities reduces belief in pseudoscience. 
A recent study by North Carolina State University researchers finds that teaching critical thinking skills significantly reduces beliefs in pseudoscience, that is, science that is unsupported by facts. This is so important, folks. That's what this program is about. It's about being a critical thinker. We just believe things. That's why I'm always telling you how your disease begins. If somebody calls me on this program or, or uh, on my, gives me a call on the phone or emails me and I'm talking to them about health, I don't like just saying, take this, take that. I call that this for that. This for that doesn't encourage critical thinking. We need to understand how our bodies work. We need to understand how nutrients work. If we are going to make good decisions, if we don't have an ability to critically think, we're just going to believe whatever anybody tells us. And that doesn't serve us in any fashion. It doesn't serve us in terms of politics. It doesn't serve us in terms of society. It doesn't serve us in terms of our health. It doesn't serve us anywhere. We have to be critical thinkers. We have to learn how to critical think, and we have to do it ourselves. We have to teach ourselves because nobody's educating children or nobody's educating us on how to be critical thinkers. All right. From the journal Scientific Reports, passive smoking, acrolein inhibits immune response, hence accelerating tumor growth. When people smoke, this nasty chemical called acrolein is released into the atmosphere via what is called side stream smoke. Now, I'm all for liberty and freedom, but nobody has the right to pollute somebody else's air. This is so rude and offensive. And for parents who are smoking in front of their children, oh my God. I've seen parents smoking with, with, in the car with the win windows rolled up and kids in the back seat. Make no mistake about it, your kids are smoking too. And if you're walking down the street smoking a cigarette, everybody, everybody behind you is smoking as well. Acrolein is a particularly nasty substance that is uh, associated with tumor, uh, tumor progression, and it damages genes as well. All right, oh, one more story here. I got one more here, so hang on if you're on hold. This one's really cool. Changes in the vascular system may trigger Alzheimer's disease. I've been saying this for so long. It's from the journal Blood. It turns out that Alzheimer's disease a patient's blood is thicker and more coagulated than normal blood. Surprise, surprise. This is the cause of all health challenges, people. Dirty blood. The blood becomes dirty and coagulated and clotted and sludgy. It no longer can deliver its nutrients. It no longer can deliver oxygen. And it no longer can remove toxins. You don't need prescription drugs for Alzheimer's disease. And indeed, there are no prescription drugs that can help anybody who has dementia or Alzheimer's disease, which is early onset dementia. The way you deal with Alzheimer's disease, the way you deal with dementia is the same way you deal with any chronic long-term progressive health challenge. You focus on the blood. All disease is cell disease, and all cell disease is preceded by dirty blood. This is from the journal Blood, just published uh, March 21st. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Washington and welcome Carol to the Bright Side. Good morning, Carol. Hi, good morning, Ben. Good morning. I wondered if you had heard of a man named Jim Humble, who uh, has MMS. Oh, no, I, have, I haven't heard of either of those. What is MMS oh, and who really? is Jim Humble? No, what oh, is MMS? Oh, my goodness. Just put Jim Humble into YouTube. Uh, Jim Humble, MMS, okay. and you'll get an eyeful, an earful. Of... Okay, why don't you give us a little clue here? Um, it's uh, MMS stands for uh, min, uh, Miracle Mineral Solution. He, he had uh, learned about it by accidentally curing malaria while he was in the jungles quite some years ago, and uh, of course the FDA came down on him when it started to become popular. Other people have picked up on it. Uh, there's all kinds of YouTube stuff on him. It what cures. exactly is MMS, though? It's, it's a mineral drink? Uh, no. Well, you do drink it. It's, <clears throat> it's a sodium chloride solution, not chloride, chloride okay. solution mixed with uh, Hydrochloric acid. Hmm. For the digestive system or just as a tonic? Oh, you, you drink it, and it's just amazing. I've been... Studying. Have you been doing it? I, I did order his stuff. It's, uh, he did not sell it because he can't because they'd come after him too hard. So he gives, uh, it away for, he gives it away for free? 20 bucks is practically free, isn't it? It's about yeah. a year's worth of... Okay, so he just charges... Autism. Autism, cancer, I mean, you name it, the testimonials well, are without end on YouTube. 
Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. And Jim Humble is the guy's name. H-U-M-B-L-E. That's his real name? Yeah, that's his name. Yeah. Okay, cool. And it's, it's hydrochloric acid and sodium chloride. Well, it's a, it sounds like it's a source of chloride is the way it sounds like to me. Is there any, any uh, uh, oxygen in there? Anything that delivers oxygen? Well, that, or do you know? That's all I can tell you. I don't, okay. I don't like... all right, I'm going to look into that. I have not heard of it. Thank you oh, so much I for sharing. Do. And, and, and please report on it. No, I was going to say for you to please report on it when you get it. I'd love it if you could use it and tell us what you think about it. Well, I can tell you. I don't have I, that. I don't have that much wrong with me. I have a friend that has an autistic child, and she's going to try it on him. And oh. I call. <clears throat> excuse me. I called Doctor Wright. Do you know who Doctor Wright is? He's an alternative doctor. Doctor Jonathan Wright in yes. Tacoma. Yes, he's wonderful. I love Doctor no, Wright. He's, he's in Tacoma, not Tacoma. Oh, he's in Tacoma. Okay, not he has, there's a. Well, it, he's in. Okay. He has a Renton in Renton Clinic. It's called Tacoma. Clinic. Oh, okay, gotcha. I thought it was he was but in Tacoma, anyway, I Washington. I called him on his talk show on Saturday to ask if he knew anything about it, and he says, "Oh yes, he has tried it, and, and? Uh, he thinks the stuff's great." Well, and if Doctor Bright I supports call. it, I do. I, I'm a big, big fan of Jonathan Wright. Big fan. Oh, my. Well, um, I didn't know he had a show. He, he's on the air. He's on from noon to two Saturdays on five seventy a.m. Oh, he's wonderful. I'm I'm a big yeah. fan of Dr. Wright. Dr. Jonathan Wright. He used to have a newsletter. He stopped publishing it, I think. No, he started it Does, up again. Oh, he started it up again. Yeah, he's a yeah. he's a wonder, great, great practitioner. I'm a big fan. Anything else, Carol? Anything else we can do to help you? That's it. Thank you. All right. Well, listen, please call us back after you've tried it. I'd love to hear what you say. I'd love to hear okay. your opinion. Okay? okay? Thanks for calling, Carol. You. All right. You take care. Into it too. I yeah, will do that. I will do that. Yeah, what I say, you know, I, I'll give you my take on these things. I love giving my take. I'm not shy about giving you my opinion on these things. But when people try a supplement and people use a supplement and people get benefits from a supplement, that's very meaningful to me. Science is great and the technical aspects of nutri nutritional supplements and the technical aspects of nutrition is very fascinating. And I love biochemistry, but it's really about results. And if somebody gets results for something, it doesn't really matter what I say or what I think. If you get results, you get results. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lines open for you. If you're on hold, we'll get to you when we come back from our break, which uh, we'll take right now. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. Side. I'm pharmacist Ben, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open for you. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today or a comment or success story, we would love to hear from you. We want to remind you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and all the longevity products at pharmacistben.com, brightsideben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470 if you're an entrepreneur or if you're entrepreneurially minded and you want to make some money selling longevity products, helping spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program for a one-time $25 fee, you can have your own business and enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business and make your own hours, work out of the home, make as much or as little money as you like. Call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. They can give you the scoop, or you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our websites, brightsideben.com, criticalhealthnews.com, and pharmacistben.com. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Got lines open. Let's go to Texas and welcome Bud to the Brightside. Good morning, Bud. Hey, man, how you doing? Well, listen, uh, I want to... Uh... I just want to kind of go over what I've been doing here. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you real quick the history. I guess about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I started doing the BTT and and I expanded from there with some other with uh, with other supplements and stuff. And I could uh, I, I I was holding on to the grocery cart to try and make it all the way across the room across the grocery store. You know those mega stores. Okay. Anyway, because my feet were hurting so bad. And um, um, anyway. Uh, Pre-diabetic symptoms, I, I, I guess, from, from from listening to you, whatever. I hadn't even been to the doctor because I don't believe him. I believe in this kind of stuff. And a year and a half later, I'm really pretty much just. <laughs> I'm like, I've got a little bit of pain in my feet, but but uh, like I say, you're I, a new I, man. I, I stand all day at work, and boy, uh, two years That's ago, awesome. 
that was almost that was really an impossibility. But anyway, that's all. Well, tell me. We're just we're just doing some. And anyway, I wanted to hone in on the last bit. It's kind of like trying to lose that last twenty pounds. You know, I want to. That's the hardest. That's the hardest. But tell me what you're doing, Jim. I want to hear what you, you're going to help a lot of people here. You you basically yeah, yeah. reversed well, I started your. Started with the BTT. I actually started with uh, inner food just to sort of clean out. You know, probi- and then I got the BTT and started taking that, and then I increased with vitamin C because apparently it only has. I think BTT what has a, a thousand, thousand. 1,250 yeah. milligrams of uh, vitamin C. So, and I heard you talk about four and five thousand. Some people are taking mm-hmm. anyway. Ten. I started, uh, doing four thousand uh, plus the BTT of C, and then um, and then the zinc, the fifty of zinc, and the thousand of D3, and and a hundred of CoQ10, and 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 uh, and the four hundred IU of E. Anyway, um, those three, those things are sort of my major. Uh, that's that's basically what my protocol is. However, um, you know, I'm not, I'm not really, and I'll tell people out there, you know what? Uh, it, it, it gets expensive, but you know, if you can't afford it, I'm, I don't, I'm not religious about it. I can't, and not only that, I'm kind of a slacker. So anyway, sometimes I'll go a week without doing it. But anyway, sometimes I'll go any, every other day, and sometimes I'll go every day. But even just with just a little bit of supplementation, and yeah. I talk to other people who think I'm crazy, just like you, I'm sure have come across, because all you need is to, because I, I was malnourished, just like you say, I believe it. Anyway, right. so uh, malnourishment, and uh, and uh, and, I, and I, hey, I've always been kind of a whole foods character, you know. Back in the '70s and '80s, I was a vegetarian, and then uh, you know, but I've always been conscious of my sugar intake, and my and I've always I've never been a McDonald's person. I can't tell you when the last time I went to. Uh, How old are you? Can I ask you, Bud? Yeah. I'm How old are you? E eight. Okay, good. So you basically have all but a little bit reversed your your uh, yeah, diabetic symptoms. The last point I wanted to make was that even though I tried my hardest, but not my hardest, but I tried pretty darn good to stay as healthy as possible with the food I took, I still got pre-diabetic symptoms. And I, I, I blame GMOs and whatever else is out there. Could have been the veggies. Were you eating a lot of grains and, and soy and that kind yeah, of stuff? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of uh, corn. Yeah, that could definitely do it. You know, yeah, we I have this. I don't really blame the corn because we're down here. I, I love. Me- I'm, a, I'm part Mexican myself. A lot of corn, corn tortillas, tamales. You know, <laughs> and, 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 all sorts of. Stuff. Anyway, well, how can I help you anyway, here, Jim? I'm hone in or Bud? Last bit and see what you think. Yes. Talk to me. What do you got um, going on? Yeah, I guess that's really. Uh, oh, okay, all right. Are you doing chromium? Are you doing chromium and vanadium? No. Get on chromium and vanadium. Are you doing any extra niacin? No. Get on the ultimate niacin from longevity. Get on the sweeties from longevity. Both are very, very important for blood circulation and for blood sugar control. Chromium and niacin together form something called the glucose tolerance factor, which helps your body process glucose. Uh, if you're not doing extra thiamine with your B vitamins or with your Beyond Tangy Tangerine, you might want to consider that. Uh, maybe another couple hundred milligrams of thiamine. You can get that as a pill. Vitamin B1 is stupendously valuable for blood sugar. Any selenium? Are you doing selenium? Yeah, well, it comes with the healthy, start, healthy body pack. You might want, you might, uh, uh, how much are you doing? You might want to bump the dose if you're not doing four or 500 micrograms a day, even 600 micrograms a day. I also, in the front of the selenium bottle, 90 capsules. I think, I think it's 100 mics. Yeah, I think it's 100 mics. I think it's 100 mics per capsule. You want about four or five of those a day. Make sure you're doing enough fiber. I'd be grinding up flaxseed fiber, especially after you eat anything that spikes your blood sugar, and also drinking generous amounts of liquids or water uh, yeah. after after um, anything that spikes your blood sugar. And then also uh, the amino acid taurine can be helpful, maybe 100 to 200 milligrams of that a day. You can even go up to 500 milligrams a day. Also the amino acid arginine, I'd be doing maybe four or 500 milligrams a day. Arginine, by the way, is one of the great underappreciated amino acids for anti-aging. It's important for the skin. It's important for moisturization of the skin. It's important for the heart. It's important for making growth hormone, and it also is important for the blood sugar system. Yeah. Uh, and, and then also alpha lipoic acid is a great all-around nutritional supplement. It's a little bit pricey, but it's got some wonderful, wonderful property, uh, liver health properties uh, for folks dealing with fatty liver, also for, uh, for blood sugar control. Uh, I'd be doing maybe four or 500 milligrams of, uh, of uh, alpha lipoic acid a day. If you want to throw a couple more things in there, I don't know if you're you're up for doing some more things, but uh, MSM sulfur, and you're, you're going to get some MSM sulfur in the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, but it wouldn't hurt you to throw in another maybe a gram or so of M- MSM sulfur, and then turmeric or curcumin, curcumin being the active yeah, ingredient in turmeric. Term, turmeric. That can also help you. Hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get another call in here, Jim. Thanks, so, or Bud. Thanks so much for your call. Appreciate it. And thanks for the, uh, I really appreciate the success story. You're going to help a lot of people with that. Keep up right, the good work, you. man. Thank you. Thank Talk to you, you later, man. All right, bye-bye. All right, Stuart, in Colorado, you get the last word. What's up, my friend? 
Hey, uh, we talked a little bit about uh, calcification of organs and the pedal gland. Could you riff a little bit on what else to do to calcification? Make sure. Yeah. Chelation is the absolute best chelation therapy uh, where they actually put something called EDTA right into your blood and it magnetically attracts metals out. If you don't want to go the, the um, you know, don't want to go the intravenous route, you don't want to deal with going to a naturopath or, or a chelation therapist, uh, you can use natural, you can use an oral chelating agent. Selenium is a chelating agent. Uh, N-acetylcysteine, NAC is a chelating agent. By the way, chelation is just a magnetic attraction of minerals. Uh, these chelating yeah. agents magnetically attract minerals and pull them out of your system. Vitamin C is yeah, a great chelating agent. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, did you, were you going to say something? Yeah, isn't there like herbs or something like uh, uh, I, I prefer not to work with herbs for that kind of thing because herbs just present another load on the body. You know, their herbs have their place and I like herbal medicine, but I'm just I, I prefer to focus on nutrients and there's wonderful nutrients, but as far as uh, non-nutritional or non non-nutrient uh, substances. Algae is a great chelating agent. Seaweed, oh, in yeah. general, is a great chelating agent. Chlorophyll is a great chelating agent. Bentonite clay will magnetically attract substances, although I'm not sure it's a strictly a chelating process, but bentonite clay and also zeolite. And by the way, all of these strategies are effective for folks worried about Fukushima or radiation because you can chelate away ah. radiation toxins. So that's not only going to help you with the pineal gland, calcification of the pineal gland, but also help you with, uh, with uh, if you're concerned about radiation. And then also, uh, let's see, a couple other things I should tell you. Oh, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, so yeah, any, green, any, any green leafy vegetables with chlorophyll will help uh, as far as chelating. I was going to tell you one more thing and I forgot what that was. What were you going to say, Stuart? You know, I heard that here in Colorado, uh, dentists can do chelating if they have a phlebotomist on site. That I did not know. I didn't know that. Offices. Like, I, haven't, I haven't found the bill or whatever that allows for it. I just heard that, that that's one of the reasons that we're like on the forefront of bio, biology, dentistry, or whatever. I did not, whatever I didn't know that. Called. Yeah. I didn't because know that. The, what, I remember, that. let me just tell you one thing I remember I was going to say. Melatonin okay. Okay. can be very helpful for the pineal gland. So i uh, using some melatonin wow. supplements and I love melatonin. Um, you don't want to take too much melatonin, but you can certainly take nine milligrams or so of melatonin a day, or even just three to six milligrams. I like the sublingual melatonin. In Colorado, we got a place called Vitamin Cottage or Natural Grocers. You can get melatonin for like five bucks for 90 capsule or 90 sublingual tablets. Uh, that's all the time we have. For, anything else, Stuart? I'm running out of time here. Yeah, when, when did you take that? At night. It'll help you sleep. If you take it during the day, it may, uh, it may uh, make you drowsy. Take it at night. And melatonin's got some amazing benefits. Melatonin is great for the digestive system. A lot of folks are getting benefits for uh, nighttime heartburn or acid reflux by using melatonin. I might have to talk about melatonin some more. I haven't talked about that in a while. Stuart, I got to go. Thank you so much for your call. Appreciate it. And thank you, everyone, for listening to The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Don't forget to check out my Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. And if you want to join the Bright Side Ben team, call 866-735-2470. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.